All right, we have all the parts come in today, and I'll go through them all real quick with you. Okay, as you saw the case earlier, um, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go individually as I'm building it. Uh, we'll record a part at a time and I'll install it. I'm not going to record the actual installing of the part simply because that's just going to take too long. Uh, the video will it'll just get too huge so what I'll do is I'll go through each part as I'm unpacking it and then right after I install it and just do a quick show kind of thing so this should go rather quick and then hopefully I will be uh, uploading this when I get this built. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully nothing is DOA, knock on wood, and go from there. Alright, let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at the case here. It's a half X Cooler Master, uh, full size ATX. Uh, I hope this doesn't come out too dark. I'm trying to get as much lighting as I can, but uh, really nice. The power supply goes down here on the bottom. It's got its own set up down here with rubber grommets so it'll be a nice sound dampening um, tool list designed for the uh, hard drives same thing with uh, your optical drives it's nice that I love about this uh, case is it's got a 200 fan up here for exhaust it's got a 200 fan in front for intake this back fan I'm actually going to be taking off because I have a special unit that I'm using with the pot with the uh, CPU that will be going back there this is the side panel it's got a 200 fan in here so it definitely has a lot of air cooling you have an option for a second fan up top here so I mean it's just a beast for air and another thing I like about on the front of this you'll see it's got some nice Oh, get on the camera here. It's got some nice ports up here. It's got USB 3.0, and my motherboard supports that. So that'll be nice uh, uh, for uh, future purposes, I'm sure. As uh, it's not a standard yet, but I'm sure it will be. In the front here, it's got a nice uh, cover, so you can uh, cover the power button, reset button, just to make sure it doesn't get hit you know or somebody's checking it out leans on it whatever but that won't happen with me so okay that's a quick look at the case now we'll take a look at the motherboard okay this will be the motherboard it's an Asus Rampage 3 Extreme it's probably on the larger side with the motherboards but very nice comes with some zip ties and of course your I.O. shield and it comes with both Crossfire and SLI uh, ribbons here wet I thought about it but I'm not going to be doing that but I have the option open if I do want to because of the graphics card I did buy and of course these lovely <laughs> temp wires keeps uh, this will register temperature in your case if, if you hook it up you don't have to it looks like it comes with th three of them here. Um, that could be nice if you're really worried about your temperatures. Of course, your manual. And we got some. What else we got here? Looks like we got an extra. Uh, if you need more USB ports, USB cable. Not quite sure what that is yet. And looks like looks like six gig cables for uh, the hard drive. And your probably install disk. And we got an extra board for uh, three-way SLI. We're gonna do that. This board can actually do up to four-way SLI. Not exactly sure how yet, but I can't quite see what's inside of this yet. 
more than likely won't be using it. So, so it comes with a lot of bells and whistles here. And you're probably thinking, why did I buy such a high-end motherboard? Simple is, or simple explanation would be futurized. You know, so upgrade it won't be a problem later on down the road. Optional uh, heat sink fan. I would imagine that's for uh, probably one the north or south bridge. Okay. So that would be everything that comes with the board here. Now, let's install it. Alright, we got the motherboard installed now. Next will be the processor, which is this lovely guy here. We have a i7-980X 6 core processor, Intel, not AMD. Sorry for your AMD guys, but I've always been an Intel kind of gal. And here is the most expensive part of the whole PC right here, this little tiny thing. And what I like about all this, look at the size of this heat sink that comes with it. Normally you don't get a heat sink like, the, like this. Um, <laughs> it's freaking huge and we won't be using it either. Usually you don't get a, a heat sink this huge and fan unless it's third party. but. Uh, that sucker's huge. And what I am doing is actually I'm going to be water cooling the CPU. Only the CPU, not all the way through the whole PC, just that. So, And it comes with paste, so you don't have to buy any if you're uh, looking for uh, some or you're not sure. And of course the lovely sticker that you can always post on there. And uh, instruction book that I don't think anybody really reads. So we will install this. The third party cooler that I'm installing, I actually had to open it already because I had to install the back plate. Now this this case here has um, an, a cutout on the back side but it ends like right here so it, it really doesn't do any good for me. It's, I don't know why they did that. It's so far off to the side. Um, but I put the back plate on. You can see the little peg sticking out in the corner. And what we have is... Let me, okay, this is the... Oh my god. I can't zoom out any further. But this is the water cooler. It's a Corsair. It's a closed loop. So there, it means there's no... Um, no maintenance to it. You don't have to add water or anything like that. It's you sit, you install it just like you would any other uh, CPU cooler, and that's it. Nothing else to it. So we'll get that all installed, and we will be right back. Okay, we have the CPU processor, your brains installed, and this is the water cooling for it. Very nice because it's no maintenance whatsoever. You got your radiator here. Let's see if we can get that. The radiator here that the liquid goes through, and the fan in between, and it actually intakes to blow right on this to cool it off. It's actually better than having it go out, uh, trying to take heat off of it. Air blowing onto it is actually better. So it's a simple, uh, simple install. You got the uh, power goes into a simple plug into uh, a fan for the pump and then the fan that's cool in the radiator here actually plugs into the uh, CPU fan spot. Okay so we got that installed. Next let's take a look at the memory. I don't know if I can open it. It is G-Scale. It is a uh, triple channel. That's what the board uses. Got a actual fan cooling for it. After you install it, it's a Turbulence uh, series. It's their higher end um, memory. Well, come on. This is hard to do with one hand. But 
I'll give you an idea here what it looks like anyway. Maybe. Any day. Come on. So I'm going to use my other hand here. Okay. So it's three sticks of these for a total of 12 gigs of memory. All in triple channel. They're DDR3, of course. 240 pin. I don't think there is anything other than 240 pin nowadays. And uh, so we got three of those. And triple channel. And they are 1600 speed. So let's go get those installed. Okay, we have the memory installed. I'm not sure how I'm liking the whole fan setup. I'm, I might just take that off of there later. Depends how loud it is. So, uh, got that installed. Next, moving on to the uh, graphics card. We have a uh, ATI 5870. Now, I don't, please don't start any wars of this brand's better than that brand or whatever because it's just the stupidest console wars. Um, Okay, so it's a DDR5, or, or yeah, DDR5, sorry, 1 gig, uh, HD, everything HD here, and this sucker is huge for a graphics card, it's massive, and what comes with it is, uh, Modern Warfare 2, um, I'm not gaming with this PC, so that's another reason why I want Intel instead of AMD, because I'm going to be doing more... Um, you know, media stuff with this computer versus gaming. I, if I'm I'm gaming with my PS3 and sorry guys, you got your install disk, driver disk, and how to install, set up, and you know, crossfire if you want. Which you know, that's another reason why I went this route too, is because the option is there if I ever want to do it. So, and it would only cost another graphics card, basically. Open this puppy up and take a look at it. Well, I can open it up carefully with one hand. Oh my god. It's, it's tough. Carefully. Very carefully. Pull it off. Okay, and right back on the static uh, cover. So this guy is a pretty good sized beast here. This uh, heat sink. See the board inside. Very nice. Very nice. And for connectors, we have. What do, what do we have here? Like, okay, let's do it like that, eh? Of course, you have your DVI. You have HDMI here. They're all covered right now. That's why it looks kind of funny. And uh, you know, that lovely special port here. DP, if you're lucky to have a monitor that. Uh, supports that. Um, yeah, so let's get this guy installed and we'll be back.